the, the mandate of the Fed, if you really look into it, they have two jobs, right? Get inflation down, make sure unemployment is not too high. Mm -hmm. So you're right, it's still strong. But what happens if we suddenly see this surge of unemployment go up and they're not done yet maintaining rate hikes or even re um, starting to increase rate hikes? So are we expecting them to start dropping really quickly because they know that they're in trouble now? Well, I, I, I would say so. You know, if we look back again, I like to look back at previous stories. They've reacted quite quickly when mm. things have happened. 2018, for example, the market mm. started to mm. absolutely dump and then they had to react. Um, I, I don't think they're as uh, sensitive to how the market intertwines with things. Mm. I think, they've again, it comes back to unemployment. I think unemployment is the key driver mm. for the Fed. But it's an interesting topic that you bring up there, you know, the relationship between inflation and unemployment, mm. because... Powell said at Jackson Hole, I think in 2020, that the relationship between the Phillips curve, sorry, between unemployment and inflation, which is the Phillips curve, held during the 1980s, but they it, it hasn't really held more recently. So I think that kind of alludes to the, the, the problem or the conundrum, if you like, of why unemployment hasn't cracked yet, even though inflation's high. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because US productivity is so high. Maybe it's because genuinely the US economy is that strong, mm. which is a scary thought because the way I think of um, trading and, and trading opportunities, risk to reward is what is the underlying theme that could cause a big reversion? And if it is the worker, then it's going to be a trouble in time. Um, now, that doesn't mean to short the hell out of the market because that's, that's silly. This is mm. positive expectancy mm. to, to remain long equ equities usually, mm. right? Yeah. Um, but for underlying indices like the Russell, mm. which I think it's 12 month trailing price to earnings ratio has been cut in half mm. versus last year. That's a problem which shows underlying weakness in smaller caps. Mm. So, again, it just feeds right back into unemployment for me and general global aggregate demand. Um, and again, it's linked to China. You know, you can see the mm. demand's gone in China. That feed for effect is probably going to start happening. Germany as well. Yeah. Really, really troubling. Yeah.